Listín Diario Editorial for April 23rd of 2024. The serious cost of accepting foreign impositions. The Dominican town of 1984 and the Venezuelan Caracaso of 1989 illustrate the serious cost that different Latin American peoples had to pay for the economic adjustment policies imposed on them by the International Monetary Fund. In the case of the Dominican social outbreak, which marks 40 years today, popular anger was provoked by the signing of a so-called stability agreement with the International Monetary Fund by the government of PRD, President Salvador Jorge Blanco. Despite the growing opposition that was exerted to prevent this compromise from being reached, the government took advantage of the Easter holiday to decree a general price increase, lighting the spark of a popular rebellion that destabilized the country. The government calculated that under the holiday of the main week, the package will be imposed as a fate accompli, as long as the population was dedicated to spiritual recollection. An unexpected event, the Philippic of the Catholic priest, who delivered the Sermon of the Seven Words on Good Friday against these measures, inflamed the veins of a wounded society. And it lit the flames of a population that has no precedence in the democratic life of the country. Something almost similar was replicated in February of 1989, five years later, when waves of protests broke out in the capital of Venezuela, which ended, as here, with morgues full of corpses and businesses looted or burned in rejection of neoliberal measures of the International Monetary Fund. The Caracaso created the conditions for the rise of Colonel Hugo Chavez, establishing a dictatorship that continues to this day as a result of a division of the armed forces and the end of the emblematic democratic model of the Venezuelan two-party system. The current presidents in both circumstances, Jorge Blanco here and Carlos Andres Perez in Venezuela, ended their political lives in bad ways imprisoned and stigmatized, and their parties weakened by the consequences. These lessons should serve as a warning to our rulers so that they never bow down to the pressures exerted by foreign powers and organizations to implement policies that only suit their strategic interests. They serve much more now since those same manichism are activated so that the Dominican Republic opens its border and absorbs thousands of Haitians who fleeing the hell of insecurity and hunger seek refuge here. The Dominican people reject these claims. Woe to those who against the grain of that national sentiment submissively accept those impositions that moreover will be equivalent to ignoring our sovereignty and our condition as a free and independent people. The people will charge them for this sin against the country with a town or with a caracaso. For Listín Diario, voiceover and translations by Indira Rodriguez.